Hello everyone and welcome to EDI One Training. I am excited to offer you Dell Boomi's EDI One Training Solution. Before we begin, I want to make sure you have three pieces of information available to you. One is our EDI guide, which would be EDI underscore guides underscore version 7.0.pdf. The second is the 850 EDI for ABC.EDI, which is a sample EDI file. The final are Walgett's underscore 850 spec.pdf, which we'll be needing for our class. Adam's fear sits in the cloud and is easily reached from any internet browser using platform.bimi.com. Although any browser can be used, we have seen the least amount of issues using Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome to do their Java handling. So if you don't have a preference, please think about using one of these browsers. Before we begin, I'd like all of us to log in. What you will do is you will log in with your email address, your password, and then you will click on log in. If you have any issues logging in, you can just click on the help, I forgot my password. I'll give you a moment now to log in. This is the same training account you've been using for all of your training. Under our process library, we have Boomi Training, we have the connectors that you're using, and then we have your Boomi Essentials class. If you have any other classes, they would also be loaded in this folder. Our EDI class will focus on three sections. The first is known as Create. Basically, this is where we will focus on an 850 or a purchase order to understand how to process the 850 in Atomsphere. We will use a message step for our input and a MySQL database as our output. The second focuses on trading partner creation, trading partner acknowledgement, and explores various methods of communications, including AS2, FTP, SFTP, and DIS. Finally, we learn to add document tracking to our purchase order, so when we deploy and run our process fields, we'll be exposed on our Manage tab. I'm now going to walk through our first exercise to verify our existing setup, which would be your Boomi Essentials setup, and to create your EDI1 folders and download your first process. This is in your book, beginning on page 4 and ending on page 7. Prior to this class, you should have attended Boomi Essentials, which means you will have at the very least in your component library a connections folder with some connections loaded already in it, and then you will have your Boomi Essentials folder, which will contain your entire account XML to CSV process. Also, you will come over to the Manage tab and go into Atom Management. In Atom Management, you have two environments. You have your production environment, which has an Atom Cloud attached to it, and then you have your test environment, which has a test Atom Cloud attached to it. All of this was done in your Boomi Essentials class. We're going to prepare for our class. So we're going to come over here, and where we have Boomi Training, we are going to click on the drop down. We're going to select New Folder, and we're going to create an EDI1 folder. So we're going to create a folder and we're going to name it EDI1. Click on Save. And underneath our EDI1 folder, we're going to create a folder to house our first section of work. We will use the drop down next to the EDI1. We will select New Folder. And our folder is going to be called EDI Inbound Create. So we've created two folders, one for our EDI class and then one to house our first section of work. Next, we want to click on the Browse Process Library hyperlink. This is going to take us to the Process Library. If we click on Process Name and we scroll all the way to the bottom, because we begin with a W, you are going to find something that says Walgett's 850 inbound create. What we're going to do is install this process. You'll need to give it the location. It's going to need to go into your EDI1 folder and then the folder you just created called 
EDI Inbound Create. We'll click on Install. It was installed, and now we'll click on the Close button. You'll see that your folder was now populated, and we now have a process. You're going to see that we have a process that was loaded into your folder. We're going to take a look at this Walgett's 850 inbound process very shortly. It's now your turn to do exercise number one to verify the existing setup, create the EDI folders, and download the process. When we come back, we're going to take a look at section one, the create section.